Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 27, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want early access to this video and the ETF video, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, it has rallied quite substantially today. And it looks like it's going to continue rallying up towards uh, at least at the middle of the bullish band, which is at 19.34. Uh, uh, so we have tested the middle several times and have been rejected there. If we break above that, then we're looking at the 50 moving average at 91. So this is probably the reason why uh, uh, stocks have been doing fairly poorly today. And same goes for indices and um, and for most of the market, as the US dollar has been appreciating and major currencies have also been affected by this as well. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that um, see that the MACD is crossing the signal line, still in bearish territory, still in a downtrend, but we are rallying. The stochastic is bullish, CCI is uh, still in negative territory, and the RSI is becoming bullish at this current stage. So if we get rejected here, then we'll most likely drop back towards 89.5. So let's look at oil. So oil is uh, finding support right here. We broke down towards uh, 65.14 and then rallied. We have not taken out the previous highs from yesterday, but uh, technical indicators are all fairly, um, fairly mixed at this current stage. So we need to take out the 67 in order to go significantly higher. We are still in uh, this um, triangle and uh, have been for quite some time. We did break below this and then re-enter this triangle. And it looks like we are going to go just really choppy trading it in towards this corner until we break to the upside or break to the downside. We did break to the downside here and then we jumped into the to the triangle yet again and if we break about this level here which is at give or take 60 66.8 um, or 67 we will mostly go towards 70 and in the long run probably to 75. Taking the indicators we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is still in uh, bullish territory but it's turning around and the RSI is also flat at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has uh, found its port down here at 2.89, which is um, fairly impressive. This is also where we found support over here. So it bounced from this area and is heading back towards the top of the bullish band, which is at 3.08. Technical indicators, they are turning around. MACD is um, still bearish. Sarcastic is bullish. CCI is becoming bullish. And the RSI is fairly, well, well, a little bit bullish, you say it like that. If we break down from here, then we'll mostly find major support back at 2.89. So let's look at copper. So copper is uh, trying to break above the 20 exponential, but it's getting rejected. And it looks like we're going to grind slowly down towards the 50 moving average before uh, building up enough momentum in order to go back to the previous highs here or probably even higher. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is, uh, is flat, CCI is, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So it is slowly grinding towards the 50 moving average. We have seen this several times before. We saw it here, and we saw it also here, and we can also go back into uh, uh, way back to see that these massive rallies here have drifted towards the 50 and then rallied, drifted towards the 50 and then rallied. And at the moment, it looks like we are going to drop towards the 50, which is at uh, 4.3. So let's look at gold. So gold got um, fairly hammered at the end of the session. It got all the way up to uh, 1911 and then it fell back. So some of this is also due to the appreciation of the US dollar. And uh, this usually looks like a candlestick that, that makes this drop back towards support. So we can see if we have a red candlestick here tomorrow and don't manage to break above these previous highs, then we could basically drop back towards 
200 moving average, which is give or take 1850. We can see that. We can see that um, MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is becoming bearish. The um, CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is significantly overbought. So we were approaching the top of the bullish band. We are overbought at this point, and a pullback is kind of expected for this market. So let's look at silver. So very similar for silver, it has been bouncing off the 20 exponential and today we also fell back and if we break below the 20 exponential then we could drop towards the 50 down at $26 and then the 200 moving average down there at $25 but 20 exponential has been massive support for, for more than a month now and um, expectation is kind of that we basically bounce from the 20 exponential and head back towards at $28, 28.5, and in the long run, we will go towards $40. Uh, $30. Technically, the they are all turning around at this current stage. Some of them are fairly flat. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band and got rejected, and that is not a really good sign. This could be a um, signal that we are about to turn towards um, the 100, uh, um, 1100 um, level or the 200 uh, moving average down here at at, uh, at 10.56. Technically, they are favoring the upside. We can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is uh, flat at this current stage. So if you manage to break above the middle of the bullish band and have a green candlestick here, then we could go back to the top. But rejection here, um, pretty big rejection. It's not a very good or a very bullish sign for this market. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium also got really hard re rejection here. It tried to rally up towards the, the 20 exponential and again, just absolutely Got, uh, got trash there, and now we're trading underneath the 50, This uh, creating this inverted hammer. So we have this uh, MACD, which is a bearish. Stochastic is also just on the signal line and kind of flat. CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So break below these candlesticks from yesterday and, uh, and, and on, on Monday, then we could see this drop all the way down to 2,500. So, or down 200 moving average. So it is, uh, yes, not a very good sign for pallium. We could also have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average, which would be um, even more bad signs for this market. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has rallied um, up towards the 20 exponential and um, found support at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is becoming bullish, CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. Break above the 20, opens the door to the middle, uh, to 24, 25, and then towards the very highs here of 25, 30, 36. Break below the 50, opens the door to 25, 50. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has tried to rally up towards the 20 exponential and then got rejected there, but it is looking more impressive than other other metals at this point. If we have um, closing above the 20 exponential, then we could turn around here and head back towards the previous highs here at 18,200, give or take. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is turning around still in bearish territory, and the RSI is fairly bullish at this current stage. Break below here, 50 moving average, and the 200 should offer quite a bit of support. So let's look at sugar. So sugar tried to rally up towards the um, middle of the bullish band and got really rejected here. So this looks like that we are going back towards the 50 moving average. Break below that, that opens the door all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0.15. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. So not a very good sign for sugar, but still 
need to break the 50 in order to go lower and need to break the middle of the Bollinger Band in order to go to these very highs. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is uh, trending underneath the 50 moving average. We'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50. And that is usually not a very good sign. That And that could mean that we'll drop all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0 0.76. Technical indicators, they all favor the downside at this point. They're all looking, uh, looking very bearish. So let's look at cocoa. So Kokoa has rallied, so this is an absolutely hopeless market. It, uh, it's kind of all over the place. It's kind of trending sideways. It's fairly more predictable now than it has been. So we have the highs and the lows, fairly highs up towards, give or take, 25.55, and lows here of uh, 23.15. So at, the, at this point, we're kind of in the middle of things, uh, right underneath the 50 moving average. If you get rejected there, then we could drop towards the bottom, uh, break about this, then we could head towards the top. Technical indicators there are fairly bearish at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. Yes, the wheat just continues to fall apart. So this was a massive rally, and now we have a massive downfall in this market. If you look at technical indicators, they are very bearish. We're approaching oversold conditions. So a break below the 200 moving average at this point looks fairly um, fairly unrealistic considering that will be significantly oversold if you get to that point. But um, rallies at this point will mostly find resistance at the 50 and also the 20 exponential at 680 and we are also 670. So um, yes, to the downside, everything is pointed to lower levels. Um, rallies are mostly going to be sold into. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.